Hi, and welcome to a new Crypto Hopper video. Today, we're going to cover the topic of shorting. Shorting can be tricky to understand, but we'll walk you through it. In today's video, you will learn what is shorting on Crypto Hopper, how to open a short, how to close a short, what do all shorting settings do, how to check a short position, how to read your trade history for short positions. Let's start with what is shorting on Crypto Hopper. Shorting is the practice of making a profit while the price of an asset goes down. Our way of shorting is a little bit different than traditional shorting. Our shorting is more like a buyback or reclamation feature. When you expect a position to make a more significant loss, you initiate a short and your bot will sell the current open position. When you think the price has reached its bottom, you consolidate your short and directly buy back the position. It's important to mention that funds of the base currency will be reserved when you open a short, because you need the funds to be able to buy back the same amount for less. The most important things to understand for shorting with Crypto Hopper is how to open a short and how to close a short. So how do you open a short? To reiterate, opening a short on Crypto Hopper means that you sell a regular open position and reserve the funds of the base currency to buy back the same amount of a coin after the price has gone down. There are a couple of ways to open a short. Manually. You can open a short manually by clicking on info next to an open position and then click on short position. It's also possible to select multiple positions and then click on bulk actions and select short positions. Open short based on strategy. If you use a strategy in your hopper, you can open a short when your strategy signals a sell. When you have open short based on strategy enabled, it will override the setting sell with strategy, which is under sell strategy in your base config. The hopper will use the strategy you selected in the base config. Always short instead of sell. You can use this feature when you always want to open a short after you've sold a position. Now that you know how to open a short, let's look at how to close a short. Closing a short means buying back the same amount for less. How do you close a short? There are several options for closing a short. Manually. You can close a short manually by clicking the info button next to a short position and then selecting close short. You will see that the positions will be bought back immediately. Close short based on strategy. Similar to opening a short based on strategy, you can also use the strategy to close a short position. When this setting is enabled, short positions will be closed when your strategy signals a buy. Configure your strategy in the strategy section in the buying part of your base config. Shorting percentage profit. The shorting percentage profit is similar to profit taking on a regular open position. When the coin's value goes down, for example with 5%, your hopper will automatically buy back the same amount. This means that you saved 5%, while maintaining the same quantity of a token. Trailing stop short. Do you want to use a feature similar to trailing stop loss, but for short positions? Check out the trailing stop short. Determine the arm trailing stop loss percentage, for example, 3%. If the currency goes down 3% or more, the hopper starts trailing the currency downwards. Now, say you set your trailing stop short at 1.5%. If the currency goes up by more than 1.5% from its lowest point after the currency got armed, it will open a position. Now let's review some other settings for shorting on Crypto Hopper. Reset positions after closed short. The shorting cycle can continue for quite some time. This can make it difficult to check whether your latest trades actually were profitable or not. When using reset position after closed short, the percentage profit you made over the whole short will be set at zero for newly open short positions. Restore position after short. This feature will result in using the same buy and sell settings as your previous regular position for a coin that has been shorted. It means that when you have restore position after short enabled, it will overrule all settings of the base config. You can always check the settings of the newly opened position by clicking on Info next to the open position. Automatic shorting. Enable this feature if you want your hopper to short automatically. Use actual profit. This feature has to do with calculating the profit when the short position is open. 
If your regular position had a loss of 10%, it will show an actual loss of 10%. When you then close the short position with a shorting profit of 1%, then your actual loss is 9%. Use trailing stop short only. If this option is enabled, the shorting take profit will be disabled and your hopper will only use the trailing stop short. This feature is similar to use trailing stop loss only, but then for open short positions. Open close shorts within time. When this is enabled, your hopper will always buy back the shorted position when the maximum open time for short positions has been reached. Close shorts after X time open. In this text field, you can determine how long your short positions are allowed to be open before you buy back the position. Auto remove shorts within time. It is also possible to remove short positions after they've been open for a specified time period. When this is enabled, your hopper will simply remove the short position. The reserved funds will become available again for new positions spotted by the hopper. Remove shorts after X time open. In this text field, you can determine after what period the short position will be removed automatically. Do not buy back on loss. Open short positions can be in a loss if the price of the coin keeps rising after the short position has been opened. When this feature is enabled, short positions will be removed instead of bought back when the signal comes in to close the position. Ignore max open positions. When this is enabled, the maximum open positions configured in the base config will be ignored when a short position is closed and bought back. You can use these settings at the same time. For example, auto closing shorts and do not buy back positions on loss can be used. In this situation, only profitable shorts will be executed. How to check a short position. You can check a short position on your dashboard. As you can see, some positions are red in the results section whilst being green in the actual results section. Other short positions can show the opposite. The results section shows the profit or loss of the short itself. The actual column shows the profit or loss from the short combined with the profit or loss you made on the regular positions you sold. Next to every short position, you can see an info button. Here, you can see exactly what settings apply to the short positions. It will show your take profit percentage and its short rate, trailing stop short percentages and its short rate, as well as the settings for auto close and auto remove positions. How to read the trade history for short trades. Shorting the same position can continue as long as you want. In our example, you can see that the first trade was a regular buy coming from a signaler. The position got sold based on trailing stop loss and was later bought again for less. This process occurred multiple times over two days. As you can see, the hopper always buys the exact same amount of the coin when shorting. Shorting can be difficult to configure. However, once you've found a good configuration, it can save you a lot of money and continue trading for a long time. The best method to find a suitable configuration is to try out different settings in a paper trading bot. So let's summarize what you learned today. You now know what is shorting on CryptoHopper? How to open a short? How to close a short? What do other shorting settings do? How to check a short position? And how to read your trade history for short positions.